Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the default USB configuration on a Xiaomi Poco M5 smartphone. Whether you're a tech-savvy user or just someone who's looking to get the most out of your Xiaomi Poco device, this guide is for you. So let's get started. First, you will need to enable the developer options on your Xiaomi Poco M5. This is because the feature that you're going to configure is hidden among other advanced features in the developer options menu on the phone. You can refer to our separate tutorial on how to unlock the developer options menu on the Poco M5 if needed. Once you've already unlocked the developer options menu on your device, you can now access the menu and locate the option to change the default USB configuration. To do so, simply head back to the settings menu on your device. Once you're in the settings menu, scroll down to find and then tap additional settings. More settings will load up on the next screen. Scroll all the way down to the bottom section and then tap developer options. Doing so will take you straight to the developer options menu, which contains a long list of options that are mostly designed for software development and app debugging purposes. To continue, scroll to find default USB configuration and then tap on it. Another window opens with a list of supported USB configurations to choose from. By default, it is set to charge only, thus your phone only charges when you plug it into your computer via USB cable. To change this, simply tap to select file transfer. Using this setting will prompt your device to automatically allow USB file transfer when you connect it to your computer. You can also set it to MTP or Media Transfer Protocol or any of the available choices that best fits your needs. After making a selection, confirm the recent changes you've made. By then, your phone will automatically allow the computer to access its system storage whenever you connect via USB cable. You can always change this setting whenever you need to. Just repeat the same steps to head back to the developer options menu and change the current USB configuration option on your device. I hope that this tutorial is able to help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and tech-related content from this channel. Thank you for watching.